you can count on. This is Fox 2 News. What you did is an embarrassment, and I am ashamed. Strong reaction tonight from Kirkwood Christian leaders. What they're saying about the anti-Islamic statements made by a Kirkwood lawmaker. An audit of the city of Brentwood is out, the problems uncovered by the state auditor. And the incredible story of three Ohio women found after their teen years were spent in captivity. The advice from Sean Hornbeck's mother to the women's families. First on Fox, an email from a powerful Missouri lawmaker is drawing fire today from Christian pastors in the lawmaker's St. Louis County hometown. Charles Jaco has the latest. Charles. Well, Sandy, State Representative Rick Stream of Kirkwood chairs the powerful House Budget Committee in the Missouri State Capitol. Now, exactly one week ago, Representative Stream sent out an email attacking Islam. Now, until the last hour, Stream had not commented, but Christian pastors in Kirkwood, well, they are saying plenty. Kirkwood Republican Representative Rick Stream sent an email from his office to all other Republican representatives, senators, and staff personnel in the General Assembly. His email quoted an 1899 speech from Winston Churchill attacking Muslims and Islams. It read, in part, quoting Churchill, Individual Muslims may show splendid qualities, but the influence of that religion paralyzes the social development of those who follow it. Islam is a militant faith. And then Stream himself added, Churchill saw it coming. The Riverfront Times broke the story and said Stream had not responded to any of their requests for comment. His office did not respond to our calls or emails, so we went to his office in the state capitol. Uh, Charles Jacob with Channel 2 in St. Louis. Uh, I called and left a couple of messages. Is uh, the uh, representative in? He's in, but he's unavailable. And Stream did not emerge from behind the closed door of his office, so we went to his Kirkwood district. There aren't a lot of Muslims in Representative Stream's district, but there are a lot of Christians. So we decided to ask the pastors of three Christian churches close to Representative Stream's campaign headquarters in Kirkwood what they think of the email, starting with the pastor of the Methodist Church across the street. I think that stuff is generally uh, destructive and incendiary. I, I want to look at Muslim brothers and sisters, uh, especially ones who are American citizens, as just that. But if he were sitting here right now, what would you tell him? What you did is an embarrassment, and I am ashamed to be considered to be part of your, your area of representation. You should be ashamed. This just seems to be so over the top and aggressive in a really weird way. Um, I would just invite him to, to, again, just sit back and think about what he's doing. Do you think this represents how his constituents feel? I hope not. Stream says he's been a member and lay leader of the Green Tree Community Church in Kirkwood for years. His church did not return our phone calls for comment on the emails. Now, we sent out a tweet shortly before this went on the air saying this story would be on our 6 p.m. newscast. And after not hearing from Representative Stream for days, he tweeted us back saying he had a statement. Well, he emailed the statement to us within the past hour, and it says in part, quote, The message contained commentary from Winston Churchill. My forwarding of the email does not in any way represent an endorsement of its content. It was simply a message that was passed along to me that I found interesting. And from our story, it seems that a lot of Representative Stream's constituents also found it interesting. Reporting live, Charles Jacob, Fox 2 News. You can read the entire Churchill quote on our website, fox2now.com. Street Fox is in North St. Louis tonight. A 16-year-old boy was shot in the back in the 4800 block of Anderson. Homicide detectives have been called in to investigate, but the teen is still alive. The Missouri State auditor says the city of Brentwood deserves a poor rating on how it handles city finances. Dan Gray joins us with more on the audit, which follows recent financial